All right, everybody. Welcome back to Pal World. It's been a good minute since I've done a video on this, but I am back and I'm showing you guys a mod collection I've created. Now, I do want to mention real quick that uh, before uh, installing this mod collection, you should make sure you can actually run Pal World properly. <laughs> uh, first of all, there has been a new uh, update announced for Pal World as of june 27th i believe is gonna be live yes so it is what it is this, this collection came before the update was announced anyway uh quick showcase you got a lot of eye options a, lo a lot of eye options you got well some piercings in there You got a, a lot of hair options. Yes, something default uh, Power World does not seem to really care about all that much just yet. So I'm just gonna do, well, something a little bit random, I guess. One thing I do want to mention real quick before I go on forward. Uh, the game does tend to crash. I crashed three games just trying to boot up the game. So expect crashes to actually happen, okay? Uh, that said, the, the mod collection has been confirmed to work for both uh, Steam and Xbox Game Pass. There we go, we got good old Madara eyes. Pink? Nah. Red, yes. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Sure, I don't actually care. <laughs> I just want to show you guys what we have. Now, a quick mention is that we do have an element rework. Also, you're already seeing the minimap. We do have an element rework, but it doesn't work in co-op. It's, it's single player only. You got HUD off. You got photo mode. Okay. Good old photo mode. Yeah, baby. You know what? Let me just do a, a screen, a thumbnail for this. With that. <laughs> so, what else is new? Well, uh, first of all, your maximum level should be... Well, uh, 70, 79? If I recall. I will try to maintain, uh, that's the Mamorist, say hello. You also have uh, information, okay? You also have uh, different colored lamb balls and chickpeas, because the game was really boring when they were a single color. Let me show you guys the Aktir Deers. They got different colors as well. And uh, since I'm showcasing this, I have bumped my experience rate to, well, 20 times. You got Milpaka coloring as well. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of stuff. Say hello to the new Gumos. Uh, the, the collection is confirmed working again. So if you're crashing, just load up again, because it does work. It does, trust me. I have played in co-op... With my wife and with my child. Now let's see how quickly we can level up. Okay, uh, maybe not that quickly. Oh, also, quickly, I just want to show you guys. You will be getting double stat points. So instead of getting one per level, you will get two. Uh, instead of getting one technology or whatever it is, you would get uh, four times the amount. Okay, so it's going to get uh, way easier. That said, this is not a game that's meant to be played hardcore in my opinion. This is a game where you are meant to come to play and to have some chill time. Yes. But, if you want to play hardcore, you can still do that. Again, the uh, maximum level is 75. Just... Tone down the experience rate is what I'm trying to say. I don't think... I don't think I'm going to be getting anywhere close. Anywhere close to 70. Yeah, 
yeah, it's fine. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little showcase. Um, can I... Let me actually show you guys a little bit of a feature that I've added since I'm here already. Now, I'm not going to use this, okay? I have not unlocked the other one. So, if you unlock a teleporter, you can teleport to said teleporter that has been unlocked from anywhere on the map, okay? That is the feature which I was trying to showcase, but I actually forgot to unlock the, the very first teleporter. Now, if you talk to these dudes... Okay, this one had Pallium Fragments. Some of these dudes will give you skill fruits, okay? So just go and talk to... God, it's so nice to actually see colors. <laughs> just full white is... It, it, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but I like a little bit of color variation in my games. If you know what I mean? Just don't be a single fucking color. There we go, we got a couple of Aegthyrthyrs running around this area. Uh, I'm only seeing the one. But this area is, well, kind of known for having Aegthyrthyrs. That said, that is not the default color. The default is another type of blue. Uh, not blue. Purple, rather. Or is it blue-ish? I forgot. Let's see. What do I want to show? We have a couple of reskins. Uh, if I can find a dire wolf, a dire howl, whatever it's called in this game, there's the different color chickpeas. We got a chocolate one. Let's see if I can find a wolf. The the wolf is the last thing I will be showcasing. Uh, the the mini map has a little bit of a 3D feature, kinda. It's a little bit weird, but it works. There we go, it is purple, the default, yes. That one's a little bit green. We got yellows, we got greens, we got blues. It's always nice to see color variation. Let's see if we can find the dire howl. I would really love to see it in game. I have yet to actually see one in game since I've changed it. For whatever reason, they are just not existent here. Maybe not in this side of the map. Let me just run towards that other side. Can I level my speed? No, you can't. I'm sorry, I've been playing a uh, Arc Survival. I've been trying to record, it's not been going so well. <sighs> you can level speed in that game. Uh, a couple of the bosses got some reskins, like the Relaxosaur, the Fanglopes, the Lunaris, and the Gumos. Uh, I believe um, the non-boss counterparts are also changed. Where are the wolves? Since I'm here already... Might as well just go take this checkpoint and uh, show you guys how you can teleport around. I'm gonna try to keep this video under 20 minutes. I'm just running around trying to showcase things as well fast as I can. Some of the things. The Pau spheres have a little bit of a glow. If you're wondering why they look a little bit weird, it's because of that. They got just a little bit of a glow. See, it's just a little bit of a glow. A little bit of a, a glitter, if you will. Let's see. Where can I find wolves? I really want to see the wolf. That's a blue chicken. Where's the wolf? Where is the wolf? The wolf has a really cool reskin, which I am really hoping to see in-game. I have yet to see it. 
I have yet to find any wolves since I've added the reskin. Oh, there's the relaxosaur. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes. Oof. Okay, they, they are engaging in combat. In water combat. Okay, will you chill though? Come on, I'm trying to showcase here. Okay, yeah, that's working better than I expected, honestly. The Relaxosaur skin. It's really working better than I expected. There's another one that is supposedly black. Which I believe is the boss. Okay, I'm gonna go take this one teleporter. The one waypoint. And then I'm gonna teleport back so I can showcase the thing. Come on. Traveling is a pain early game. You know what? More stamina is needed. Where are the wolves? Uh, if you're wondering, I have no reshade on. Zero reshade. Also, there is a little thing I want to showcase real quick. And uh, I can't because I'm not in a... I'm not in a position to showcase it because of my low level. Uh, let me just teleport... I'm gonna teleport here and just jump across. Uh, I'm gonna look for something real quick. Give me a second. Okay, where are you? It's an image of something. Uh... Okay, where where are you? <laughs> Where's the location of this one image? I'm trying to showcase the building. Because you can build some interesting stuff. I made like a bridge or something. Uh, you may have forgotten where I've placed it. Okay, for example, you have this, so you can just literally place fire anywhere. And, um... Uh, nighttime looks a little bit different. Okay, we just got better lighting. I know that's in French. Uh, my guy McSalmon was playing. He is on the Xbox. There we go, the structure I was talking about. Okay, so I made just a little bit of a bridge of some sort. You can do stuff like this. It's really cool. It's really cool. I was looking for it because I forgot where the folder is, even though I have it somewhere. Uh, listed in the collection instructions, but I'm not gonna go search for it there. So we are going this way, and I really just want to show off the wolf because I feel like the wolf is really cool. I don't know if it's a wolf from a uh, Monster Hunter or some other game, but it's a really cool model. If only I could find Sid Wolf. Oh, also the uh, the boar got a reskin as well. The boar looks actually interesting now because it's not not just a simple boar. So let's see now. Where is the church? The settlement. Let's just go towards the settlement, okay? There's also a uh, first-person mod. I don't recall if I've added that or not. Might be an optional. I forgot. Uh, that said, it's kind of buggy. 
So when you enter first person, you are unable to... Oh, there's the rush roar. When you enter first person, you are unable to exit first person. And it's kind of sucky. But there is that. I, I don't recall if I actually let, left it inside the collection or not. There's the boar. Good, good old rush roar. Actually looking interesting. Okay, maybe we can find some wolves in this area so I can actually show them. Because I know the Dire Howl is one of the early mounts. And it's kind of sucky that it looks so bad. It just looks bad. And I don't like it. The default model is just sucky. If you're a Pokemon fan, sure. But if you're not a fan of the... I forgot the name of the... The one from Pokemon... Which looks very similar. Uh, Lycan? Or something? Could have sworn I heard a wolf somewhere. I have yet to actually see a wolf though. Uh, where the wolves at, bro? The one time I want a wolf. After I made the changes. And I can't seem to find one. This is getting silly. Am I gonna die? Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm pretty sure fall damage is in the game, but I did kind of grab the edge there. Alright, come on. There are a bunch of others, but for those I would have to be in this area. And I don't really want to run all the way over there, but we have a couple changes to the flyers, yes. Some of the flying birdies got some changes. And I, I don't actually think they're birds. I think they were like dinosaurs. We switched those. And added some dragons. From Monster Hunter Rise. If I recall. It looks really nice with the game. Okay where's the wolf bro? Can I find one wolf? One freaking little wolfie. One. I don't need more, just one. Come on, don't make me fall. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna head over to that camp, even though I may be getting destroyed. I'm gonna head over there and see if I can find a wolf. I don't really want to edit this, because uh, if I edit, then you guys would not know if I crashed or not. So, I'm not going to edit. Again, some crashes do happen, but I feel like the, the current revision of the collection is the most stable one. Deck mode config menu does have some, uh, some crashing every now and then, because... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just saving presets causes you to crash. For whatever reason. For the minimap. Speaking of which, the minimap is gone. For whatever reason. This is the first time I actually see the minimap just be gone. It's out. Then I press the button and I don't know about it. I have no idea. If you press K, you can uh, make your own party presets. Uh, you can open the box, okay? You can literally open the box from anywhere. The PAL box. Which is kind of cool. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna go and uh, set this guy free. Because I want at least one PAL with me. Oh, there's the Dire Howl. Yeah, baby. Alright, can I see the Dire Howl, please? There we go. Look at the guy. Uh, it's not working as intended. It is not working as intended. But it's still a decent recaller. That said, uh, he's not supposed to be looking like this. 
I'm a little bit upset that it doesn't work properly for for whatever reason. It's supposed to have a new model, okay? But for whatever reason, it just doesn't show up as intended. I, I may have to remove it, but I'm thinking about letting it be. Because it looks kind of nice. So does the Milpaka with wings, by the way. <laughs> That's really cool. Alright. Again, you can do this. You can open the box anywhere. Um, I have yet to actually create a party for myself, so I don't really know how to how to make one. The elemental rework is well a little bit different. Let me show you guys an image from the actual mod collection. Come on. It's taking a while to load in for whatever reason. There we go. Now, this is the elemental rework. And uh, it's not working uh, all that well for co-op. It's kind of crashing the game when the host is the one uh, not attacking. So, it crashes the game for the host of the co-op session when the other person is attacking anything. For whatever reason. It seems to work in single player though, so I think if I recall I have left it uh, as an optional mod. I'm gonna check real quick. Let me open the Power World one. Okay, I, I don't care for that. Can't deploy because I am inside the game. Let's see, disabled. You do have, yeah, there's a first person mod. There's a faster breeding, faster hatching, elemental rebalance. You got a Nuzlocke, okay. There's the, the, the Nuzlocke, kind of like, um, you know those YouTubers and streamers that do Nuzlocke for Pokemon? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Then there's a, an act architecture replacement mod for uh, modern architecture. It kind of just replaces the default wood things, if you want that. You can play as Victor. You need to install both of these, by the way. There's free unlocking for technology, if you want it. Carry weight increase, though this doesn't seem to work properly. There's a creative menu, which I have not added as a... It's optional, okay? You got a 100% pole capture rate. Yeah. So you can assign pals, you can do a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I want to show you guys the Dark Dragon. Because it looks kind of cool. Now, I'm really hoping... Let's see, can I show the wolf? So... Yeah, this is supposed to be the wolf. And it doesn't work as intended for whatever reason. I am unsure why. Maybe because of the game version. Maybe because it just doesn't work properly with the OBS or something. I don't actually know. But this is how the Dire Wolf was supposed to look like. And instead we got, well, whatever that other thing was. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and showcase of the collection we got going on. Uh, you will definitely like it if you play it. I'll say that. It's it's very cool, actually. <laughs> I know my kid is enjoying it a lot. So does my wife. So whenever we play this, we got a lot of fun going on. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of colors. The Malpaka, the Ektir Deer, uh, the Chekapi, and the Lambos. Uh, I think we still have some other recolors. But yeah, except for that, we got some skin changes, which uh, one is for the Lunaris, which is just a galactic uh, skin, kind of. Makes her more menacing. She looks better, in my opinion. Full black with stars and stuff just moving around her skin. Uh, that said, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to like, share, and... Uh, well, download the, the darn thing if you want to play it. 
I'm gonna try to maintain it as much as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video.